Hi everybody, it's Diana again, and today I just want to talk a little bit about PR. Now I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that get PR, beauty gurus, of every shape and size and fan base, um, but there's also a lot of people out there that don't get PR, I myself included. Obviously I only have five subscribers, but I love all of you. Um, and I know too that there's a lot of good arguments against PR and why people stop trusting YouTubers who get PR. And, you know, I don't always agree with all that. So this is going to be my take on PR. And I'm going to start it out by saying, don't hate the player, hate the game. This is the name of the business. PR is a thing. It's not going away. You kind of have to deal with that. But I think it's a good thing for a lot of reasons. One reason it's good is because it gives people, especially like large beauty gurus, a way to get product that they can show us that otherwise I would probably not get to see. Because a lot of you who aren't getting PR or limited PR, um, you can't always afford, and neither can I, all these palettes or foundations get very expensive, multiple eyeliners, trying out many different brands over spans of time. Um, and so this is a great way for us as an audience to get to see a lot of different products. And I also think it's good that it some of it's going to larger people because they've been doing YouTube and beauty for years and it's their life and they know makeup and they have good opinions. Granted, all of this is opinion on any product. If I love naked skin, you may not. It may not work for you. But if you have similar skin tone or type or similar styles as some of the gurus out there or just beauty people in general or whoever, I don't really like the word guru, but we'll, we're going to use it. Um, then it's a great way to kind of be like, okay, like just Jennifer Braun. Oh my God. Jessica Braun. I'm so sorry. Jam beauty 89. I love her channel. Uh, she likes a lot more neutral stuff than I do, but I still enjoy watching her, but it gives me a way to see all that stuff that normally wouldn't catch my eye and go, Oh wow. That highlighter looks like something I'm interested in because although I do like to do really fun looks, I don't want to wear makeup every day and some days I wear minimal makeup, no makeup, and some days I'm toying with a little bit more of a natural look every now and again. To me, this is relatively natural, you know, sans the lips. Um, but yeah, so I think that's one really good thing. Another really good thing, I'm sorry if you could hear my son freaking out in the background, I made him stop playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> He's four, you know, eh. Anyway, another good thing is, you know, beauty girls or whoever's getting PR in general, you know, not only do you get to see new stuff right away if they do do something like an unboxing, which I, even if I follow Trend Mood or people on Instagram or let's say I'm super into Smashbox and, or Elf and so I join their channels and, you know, whatever, emails and all that, I still might not know all the new releases. Now you may not get to see all the new releases when you watch PR videos, but you get to see a lot of cool stuff. This is how I heard about the Nicole Concilio and Smashbox collab. I'm not the hugest Nicole Concilio fan. I don't hate her. I think she's interesting. She has a valid opinion on things, but I do, you know, I like Smashbox and I was always interested in their primer water and scented ones seemed really cool. And then I saw Emily Noel do a video on the scents and I, I had to have it. And not just because they showed it to me, but it was something I was considering, but I would never have heard about if I didn't watch these YouTubers um, or the social medias of any of these people. Um, so I think just getting the information out there is a really good thing. Granted, there's no way if you're getting a ton of PR, maybe you just get a little, maybe you get a lot, but if you are getting a ton of PR, there's no way you can like look at all of it and all of it may not interest you. And a lot of the PR, it's brands merchandising. So if you've ever worked in retail or food service, yes, there's lots of different ways to advertise and merchandise and PR is the biggest and easiest way to do it. 
um, because in the end, even though it's costing the company a little bit to send this stuff out, by the millions of people that see this is how they're making money. So again, don't hate the player, hate the game. They wouldn't be giving this stuff to people if you weren't watching them and if you weren't interested in buying makeup. The makeup industry is a billion, billion dollar industry. And I am happy to be a part of it. I love makeup and I wanna know more about it and see it and this is the easiest way for me. I also don't have time with two little kids to be going into Ulta and Sephora and even, I mean, maybe Target, let's be honest. I go to Target like once a week. But to go into all these places and see all this stuff and or get to swatch it and have the time by myself to do all this. Most of the time I'm bringing kids in. I'm going to get what I want or to go look at the two or three things that I saw on YouTube that interested me that I thought I might like that and go check it out and maybe purchase it. And usually I use coupons and discounts and all that stuff. So if it is a higher price item, it might be that one little thing I'm splurging on this month. Or it might be something that it's like, you know what, treat yourself. It's okay. Now, I know a lot of people are also anti-consumerism. And that's okay. I think that we do spend too much money on random stuff. I'm just choosing to spend money on makeup. I don't spend a lot of money on shoes, on clothes, on going out to eat, on any of that. So it's really up to you how you spend your money. I know people that buy cars all the time. So that's a big purchase at once. Um, anyway, I'm getting off topic. So another re thing that people kind of say is that it's a lot of waste. Well, any of this is waste. If you live in America and you go and you buy the Swamp Queen palette and you decide to return it, it's going to a landfill. If there's makeup you have that you haven't finished all the way and I know we've all done it and it's gone bad or you just don't like it anymore and you throw it away, it's all waste. So yeah. It is wasteful what they do with extra packaging and stuff, but it's no more wasteful than if you've worked in retail and you see actual product come to the store and they'll ship a flower beauty thing. I mean, I haven't worked in this kind of retail, but I've, I work at Claire's right now and we get little packages of earrings, triple packed in saran wrap and then in another bag and then in another bag in this giant box. And you're like, really? Okay excessive yes um and i worked at barnes and noble for many years and you would get a box this big big as the screen and it had two books in it too so you can't just blame the beauty industry for waste it is definitely united states across the board we make a shit ton of waste and globally but we are really 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 bad at it i know there's other parts of the world too that are too so let's just not blame the beauty people and the companies for all that. Let's not. It's not fair. Um, another thing is, is a lot of these people that are getting PR, if it's, you know, when they're getting 40 shades of foundation and maybe thinking high, not even conservatively, they're going to keep five of them because they're kind of in their range or they're going to use one as contours. So they get one a little bit darker and then they're going to use... One is kids, I don't know, whatever they decide to do with it, okay? Or they're going to save two for their sisters or who cares? They got it for free. They can do what they want with it. The rest of it, a lot of them donate it or give it away to you guys, the viewers, as an incentive for watching them. Like, thank you for watching me. Thank you for supporting me. Here's a giveaway because they care about you too. And they realize, yes, I don't need eight, you know, Elf primers. I could probably give like five away minimum, you know. Uh, but a lot of them, you know, do do good things. The Taylor, you know, partners up with a really great cause, which I can't remember right now. I'm so sorry. Um, but if you watch her channel on YouTube, she does a lot of great stuff. Uh, Project Beauty Share, that's what it's called. And anyone can donate to it. YouTubers, non YouTubers. Your makeup, whether it's been a little bit used or not, you can donate it. They'll decide if they can sanitize it and they give it to like women shelters, people who can't afford the makeup at all. So I encourage you all to do that as well um, when you can. Even when I get rid of clothing, if it's not gross or has stains or rips in it or holes, like I donate it when I can, where I can, with everything. I just decluttered my kitchen 
stuff like bowls and spoons and cups and mugs and all that jazz and I donated everything that was still good I cleaned it I donated it I figure someone could get some use out of it so there is that good out there PR is not horrible you know and the other thing is when someone's getting PR they are not obligated to make a video the company doesn't have to send it to them and they don't sign a contract and if they do or are getting paid they have to legally on YouTube either put it in the comments or in the video and I think maybe sometimes both that it's sponsored so if it's sponsored they're getting paid but they've chosen to take that sponsorship and usually if they have it's I would assume and really hope a brand or an item that they really love and even if they take a sponsorship doesn't mean that they're going to give it a good review and I think most give honest reviews and I think it's such a shame and fuck all to all of you that if someone doesn't give a shitty review on something that doesn't mean that they're getting paid or they want to not be taken off a PR list now number one if you were getting PR you wouldn't say no and I'm talking to people like Lucia Temper Beauty you know you didn't say no to Hush Beauty or shop hush or whatever it is you're really anti-consumerism you're anti-PR I'm not anti-PR you want to give me PR I will test it for you and I will give you my honest review But I'm not gonna say no to something that's free that I would buy anyway you know what I mean if somebody just sent me in the mail and was like hey we're over here at Too Faced and we have a couple lipsticks we just want you to test them out you don't have to do anything about it if you don't want we just want to send it to you see if you like it great but you know what even if someone is trying to stay on a PR list whatever and if they even if they give a bad review and if they're off one PR list they're on 10 other ones like who cares and a lot of these people that get a ton of PR um sorry that's my phone a lot of these people that are getting a ton of PR also have enough money because of viewers like you and other jobs as well that the, if there's something they're not getting in PR they're gonna go buy it I buy everything sometimes I get it as gifts from family or friends I guess that's PR too then isn't it hmm but you know what you're not gonna say no if grandma buys you that eyeshadow palette that you wanted for Christmas and then you're not gonna tell grandma that shit sucks are you no you're not even if it does but here's the thing too it doesn't matter if a beauty guru gives something one good opinion or a bad opinion or whatever and yeah I do think that people can change their mind and hate something now and love it later and vice versa they can love it now and hate it later your skin changes your taste change your mind changes you know I I love this Kat Von D lipstick in witches I think it's great but it also kind of peels all day and have to reapply but it's one of the best blacks out there it's super black it goes on really nice you don't really have to layer it but yeah it doesn't stay all day and no it's not transfer proof but you know what I still like it but you might not like it because you might want it to stay all day and not have to reapply and not be transfer proof so you see we can like different things but hey PR is not so bad don't hate on beauty gurus or experts or whoever I mean even people on YouTube I'm sure that play a bunch of video games and sponsorships they get people that say here play my video game for free I'm gonna give you access to whatever VR game because you get a lot of hits these people are getting free stuff too I'm sure they're getting free keyboards and free headphones and nobody's having a hissy fit about it so you need to stop having a hissy fit too it's a business hate the player don't hate the game if you don't want to watch someone because you don't think they're being genuine PR or not don't watch them if they're not interesting don't watch them if you even like someone and now you don't for whatever reason you don't have to watch them your watching is your vote and your vote matters just in anything else you don't have to take my opinion for it but I don't think it the PR is the problem some of it is us okay and some of it is just it's the business and you just have to deal with it sorry have a good day I hope you subscribe thanks guys